it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys craft farms here and welcome back to another video today we are back on Dakota Plains uh, we are going to be finishing off the sunflower harvest today um, <clears throat> I did as I said and I went and did the every other row and got it so now we just have uh, see we got one two three we got six more passes and uh, so yeah so however long it takes to do this is how long this video will be because we're just going to finish the sunflowers and then call it a video. Uh, you can see the combine is finally getting dirty. The header it seems to be as well. Yeah, I can see a little bit there. So things are getting uh, a little dirty now. Hopefully we can fill that truck at least once more then next week uh, we'll be starting the corn uh, somewhere between now and finishing corn I'll get the uh, these other crops fixed and also do the other couple little fixes that I've wanted to do on here uh, like that door on the Quonset and I think it was just the door on the Quonset oh and then removing that shed that like canopy thing that's on here and replacing it with a different you know some kind of shed whether it's another Quonset or what so I'll have to uh, get the pickup moved and whatever other equipment is under there get it moved and then uh, so that way we can park stuff in it or so that way like when I add this building things don't uh, um, things aren't like inside of it and like something's glitching in through the wall or something like that because that would not be fun so we're gonna pick up this stuff here on this side of us Yeah, I'm super excited for uh, Sunday's video here. Uh, well, today is Sunday for me, but you know the upcoming video for you guys. Um, super excited because uh, we'll be completely finished with fields after that video. Because in that video, we're going to do all of the field size calculations and field price calculations, and then go in Giants Editor and edit everything to make it so that everything is the correct price that it needs to be and stuff um, I have been still working hard at uh, um, getting all of the fields set up uh, getting all of the field dimensions moved and all of the field map indicators moved uh, all of the field triggers are moved which I believe we did in the last video um, well, you guys haven't seen that video yet, but, or well, at this time that I'm recording this video, you haven't seen it, but the time that you're watching it, you have. Um, that's the kind of funny thing about recording things so far in advance, because, like, it's Sunday the 23rd right now. This video you're seeing on the 28th of April, and so, yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, it's always funny to do things that way because you're like thinking, oh well, it's this way, but then you're like, oh no, 
you haven't actually seen that video yet, and it's just kind of a, it's kind of funny in a way, but. Just got a few more passes left here, and then we can call it a wrap for these sunflowers. Guess I'll do some in cab combine in here. So, I'm actually not going to be starting out with this combine on my map. Uh, the one that I plan to start out with is the John Deere 8820 uh, Titan. Uh, it's a very nice combine. I think I used it in a video. I don't remember if I did or not. But um, <sighs> excuse me. But uh, it was done by. Uh, the same guy that's done like 8440 that I've used and like the 4440 I think it is that I use um, it's done by that same guy he uh, it, he just rebaked this combine is what he did uh, rebaked the original John Deere 8820 and then just you know basically because I think it was converted to 15, so he just took it, exported it out of Giants Editor, imported it to Blender, retextured everything, and then exported it back and just put it right back where it was. Um, I just got to get some headers thrown together for it, which he said he just edited, like, these case headers here. Uh, he just edited those, um, you know, made them John Deere green and whatnot, and put the John Deere decals on, and then adjusted the attachers for that combine or whatever so uh, get some work done on that which really shouldn't be too hard to do just get the color code for John Deere green and change this red to that and then change the decals and then get the John Deere yellow and whatnot else too and then uh, you know, draper headers will be I was thinking of maybe just doing the draper header that came with the 8820 originally just throw it in blender rebake it but I might just use the you know the draper header that we've got for this combine I might just use that and um, just change that as well I don't know or he might be also sending me the headers, I'm not sure. So, be running a little bit of John Deere, probably a little bit of Alice Chalmers, maybe some Oliver. We'll see what we're all running. I do have a couple of mods that I want to like edit or remake or whatever for using on it, but I'm not doing like an entire pack like I w was originally because <clears throat> that was my original thought or idea or whatever I had found a bunch of FS 13 models that you know I wanted to just redo and use but I decided not to just decided I'd use these ones that I've got here in 15 already and just do some work to them. Okay, so if we fill, we'll be able to get our truck in here. Almost two hours has been spent on uh, this sunflower field here. <clears throat> I 
So I just finished recording the uh, video for yesterday, the Thursday modding video. I uh, just got that finished. Now I'm working on this. Get this one done and then get uh, tomorrow's video done. And I can sit and work on my map for a while until I get up to the point of where I want to record. To the point of where I want to be... Um, to record the next video of my map which I'm hoping it doesn't take too long uh, it will be nice because I can get all of these videos uh, in edited and get them uploading while I work on my map so that'll definitely be pretty nice uh, to get you know a few things done at a time I do like the particles here on the back of this combine, they're pretty cool. And we're full. Well, not yet. Are we gonna be able to fit this in? No. Okay, I'll jump up here to the truck then. So this will be the last full combine load, I think. I don't think we'll fill the combine again. If we do, I'd be happy, but I kind of highly doubt it. I want to get this little section finished here. I just want to have it done so that way we're ready for this next pass here as soon as we empty this combine. Okay, we're kind of like dumping on the ground here. That's not what I want to be doing. So we lock on to the next. GPS line. As soon as this truck fills, we'll just continue going. And then we'll just unload it once we're finished. And away we go. So I think that's second full truck. Oops. Helps to drop the header. <laughs> Almost forgot to do that. Everyone's been having a good week so far. Uh, I'm sure that the time that this is going up, I will probably be sitting at home. <laughs> sitting at home after work. I don't think this thing does it. No. Service ladder up and down. Keep head nine. Ladder open close. We can have that out. Enable IC. This thing has IC controls. Oh, the door is not one of them. Dang it. gonna have to check out a video here after I'm done making this one a uh, buddy of mine just told me that I sent him the picture of the uh, Apico grain dryer after it was all finished up and 
he said that he saw a video once of a guy playing on a map where he could actually dry the grain so I might have to check that out because if I can actually script it so that you actually have to dry grain that'd be pretty awesome Okay, so it'll be about 20 minutes by the time we're done here. Might as well start turning this monster. So this is our final pass here. So lines turned off get that off get that off get that off and get ready for screenshot get the sunny side looks a little bit nicer that way Okay, so we're going to be maybe 75% full, or close to it, not bad. Of course, we weren't empty either, so... Alright, that is a wrap on sunflowers. We're gonna get that out. Get it ready to unload, and then we'll uh, start trucking some sunflowers here. So we're gonna take this load back to the farm. Take the next load. We'll slow going with a full load here. This truck needs a little bit more power, I think. I don't know what I have the power set to either. I guess I never really messed with the power. Probably would have been a good idea, but oh well. I should adjust this indoor camera too, just to make it so that like I can at least see. I mean, I didn't set do very much with this interior. I maybe should have done a little more with it, a little bit better of a job, but. It's good enough for me. I'm usually out of cab a lot. Like with spraying and like large implements. And then like driving I'm usually in cab. So like with this, a lot of times you know, I like to be in cab. So I guess if I just kind of lifted this up a little bit. 
I'd be all set. Lifted it up, moved it to the left just a little bit too. So I could see a little bit better out. My driver's uh, head is a lot farther up, so. That'd be kind of a neat thing to do is try and get it so that like wherever the farmer's head is at is where the indoor camera is. Except in Giant's Editor, you can't see the head. Like, you don't see the person. Unless it's, you know, one that has the object, like, has an object like it was in FS13. And that's about the only way. So, let's see what we got for sunflowers here once we're done. I think right here is where Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure I had the right spot, make sure that that worked, because if that didn't work, we'd be kind of screwed. But of course I could just go in and add one, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it still would be kind of rather annoying. I don't get why the one side seems to have duals, dual tracks, but then the other side does not. That's kind of funny. This is just the way that the wheels are positioned and that's how the track is. I don't know. do a little bit of repair work on this truck eventually too okay so then we can just shut down the combine here uh, and then in the next video we will start on that field of sunflower er, field of corn not sunflowers field of corn and we'll get that done and then like I said we'll get I'll get this stuff fixed on here uh, these crops and then different building put some seed and fertilizer triggers at the farm and so let's uh actually sell those right now this placeable seed and placeable fertilizer we'll go ahead and we'll just sell them right now it'll give us a little bit of money i mean literally a little bit like this one's only 425 dollars the other one gave us a couple thousand but Is there anything else we could get rid of that we really don't need right now? I suppose we could get rid of this truck. Because really only one truck is all that we need. But I also kind of thought that the yields were going to be a little bit higher than they actually are. Of course that doesn't move. Yeah, That's annoying that those don't move. <laughs> But I guess in real life, if you're out of the combine, it's not going to move either, so. It makes perfect sense. It's just kind of annoying when you're in a hurry to get moving. So we'll get this unloaded, we'll see how much sunflower crop is stored, and then uh, that'll be a wrap.
definitely excited to have my map done and be able to farm on there because all the grain bins will actually work which will be really really awesome nice looking bin auger all right moment of truth what do we got 54,917 liters all right cool so guys that is going to do it for this video if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like which see that was close um be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my pc specs my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool youtube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow